all right yes thank you very much for staying with us once again and joining us on this channel sports 7 gh it's always a great pleasure to have you join us thank you very much for staying sad news hates black stars player and uh, when his injury first came a lot of people really said oh it's just a but it looks like the injury has aggravated to become a very big one we are looking at fatal shahaku injuries issues and uh, we will look at what some of the black stars players some of the national and um, his club players are also saying about the injury that he has suffered and um, the surgery he has undertaken we will look at some other stories concerning still black stars coach utuado as at the time i'm doing this video 5 30 p.m ghana time 5 30 p.m ghana time they finished the meeting several minutes ago or several hours ago we've not heard anything about them sacking about the gfa sacking the coach um coach utuado so it, it tells you that what we've been telling on this channel that the gfa here they are not ready to sack the coach until unless the government or somebody external is forcing them to sack the coach they the gfn the executive committee they will never sack coach otoado so as at this time they've not sacked the coach they are not going to sack the coach if you listen to the people who are very close to the gfa everybody is saying that oh the G the, it's not the fault of the coach we should give him time we should give him this that <laughs> well we are bringing you all the details and then we look at some other stories also in this video do want to subscribe to the channel like the video hit the notification bell and select all leave your thoughts comments below in the comment section if you have any it's always a great pleasure to have you join us thank you very much for staying with us now um fatal shahaku got injured in the game versus angola ghana versus angola um uh, 45 minutes he was substituted from the game and after the game we read that he couldn't be available for our next game versus niger the last african cup of nations qualifier he couldn't be available because of a knee injury so he didn't play the last game and then today he has posted a video of him completing a surgery so he has undergone knee surgery and he has completed that particular surgery and has started his recovery so it means that fatal shahaku will be out for some time now for for some time for his club side leicester city and that is a very 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 difficult situation for the black stars players uh, these are some of the reasons why when they come down and you tell them that oh your money no is this and that they say hey massa give us our money because they can get injured anytime and the injury can be um as difficult as anything you will think about now this is what fatal shaku had to say on his instagram handle he says alhamdulillah all glory be to almighty allah my surgery was successful and i just want to tell you that i am okay and i'm feeling good after the surgery i want to thank everyone for your best wishes so yes fatal shahaku undergoing a knee surgery um after his injury with the senior national team the ghana black stars this is uh, these are some of the views of his fellow footballers and Ghanaian players alexander jiku says you will come back stronger bro um kelechi he and natural yes he was playing for leicester city but now he has moved to Sevilla. he says you will come back stronger um indeed is a, f a colleague player in leicester city he says be back stronger charlie um and then hamza chowadori is also with leicester city alhamdulillah and then we have um casey mac mactier is it back back stronger brother and then we have baling Salah chari okay so let's look at some other comment lfc zone leicester city zone says i'm devastated honestly wish you a speedy recovery recovery abdo you will be back or you come back stronger than ever and then we have official um bed lost dead all right and other come out dean Sulemana Day says Inguni Yeko and then other players Adekoya says big comeback Charlie um over then then here we have the likes of Joseph Pinto saying get well soon brother Nathaniel Opoku Black Stars player saying soon back bro and then you see classic be strong champ Majira Shimeru says back stronger and then sending you love and light charm and very met pictures and then randy reckless says all the best brother 
So these are some of the views of his fellow footballers and Ghanaian players, Leicester City players, um, sending him um, some good words and war wishes after his um, knee injury. It's very important, is that not it? But we wish him a speedy recovery. We hope that he recovers and everything will be fine with the Black Stars player, Alexander M. M. Abdul Fatahou Isahaku. Now, Kim Grant is a former um, Ghana international and he's speaking via his Facebook page. Look, what Kim Grant is saying, it is the fact and I am so surprised people are... You see, Ghana here, if it is not for selfish interest, I'm not going to anymore. But a lot of people are so selfish and they always bring their selfish interest in any situation so they don't say the truth kim grant doesn't have any interest so he will tell you the truth he says that look coaches in the past were dismissed for far less yet this current technical staff is being shielded by an inner circle even after the disastrous afcon qualification campaign haven't i been saying this i said that coach kwesi apia went to the afcon the, he played the AFCON qualifiers, qualified Ghana to the 2019 AFCON, qualified out of the group stages, went to the round of 16, was eliminated by Tunisia, this same football association. Keto Kriko and his people said that they cannot work with Coach Kwesiapia. So they didn't, they didn't extend the contract for Coach Kwesiapia. At that time, he qualified from the group and went to the round of 16 and was eliminated. We went to the last AFCON. Chris Uti played the qualifiers for AFCON. Went to the AFCON itself. Couldn't qualify from the group. We sacked Chris Uti after the African Cup of Nations. Otuado, here we are. We have Otuado. He fails to qualify to the AFCON itself. 24 teams. 24 teams. He failed to qualify to the AFCON itself. But then we are shielding him. He said, oh, let's give him time. What is this? Coaches have been sacked for far less disastrous campaign. Far less. But then they were sacked. But Otuado, he will not be sacked because whatever. Now, he also continued to say the narrative to retain them for the World Cup qualifiers is outrageous and risk further embarrassment it's time to stop protecting mediocrity banish egos and demand accountability oh my goodness i love this kim grant you are saying what people want to say what a lot of Ghanaians want to say you you are saying it the narrative to retain them for the world cup qualifiers is outrageous and risk further embarrassment it's time to stop pre protecting mediocrity. Mediocrity. They are protecting mediocrity. Banish egos and demand accountability. You are the Black Stars coach. You've used Ghana Black Stars to play African Cup of Nations qualifiers. You did not only qualify for the AFCON, but you, you placed bottom, bottom, bottom in a league log containing, involving Angola, Niger, and Sudan. Ghana were bottom. We scored just three goals in the campaign. Conceded seven. And there are people who saying that this technical team should be maintained. I am saying that we can sack the technical team and still ensure that the Ghana Football Association will do the right thing by appointing the right coaches, the right technical team for the senior national team, the Ghana Black Stars. How is this difficult? How, how is this difficult for anybody to do? I don't understand. I just don't understand who made me do some interest here because of selfish interest. I don't know what this coach, you know, when he's there or if he's there, I don't know what he will be doing for, for people who, that they want him to be there. What will he be doing? Oh, and he will qualify for the World Cup. Give him that. Qualifying for the World Cup is not the it's not it's not the measure that this Ghana coach has done well. It's not a If you qualify for the World Cup, you've just done one thing. You have to go to the World Cup and do well today. Ali Usisi won the African Cup of Nations for Senegal. Fast forward, they went to the 2022 World Cup. They taxed Ali Usisi to go to the quarterfinals. At least he couldn't do that. He came to the next Afcon and. He couldn't really do well at the 2023 AFCON. They sacked him. He has he's won a AFCON. As Lil Sisi has won AFCON for Senegal. He won them their first African Cup of Nations. He went to the Africa um, the World Cup. They said he should read quarterfinals also. And he couldn't go for I think he went to the round of 16. And then they sacked him. 
He came to the Afcon to in in in, in, Sen in Ivory Coast. He didn't do what uh, Senegal have sacked Ali Usi said that have won a trophy. Oh, he's won a trophy. They've sacked him. Ghana Black Stars. This guy, he has not done anything. The all they say is that he qualified us to the 2022 World Cup. And so what? And so what? Are we some? Are we some Gambia or some? A, a retreat that if you qualify us to the World Cup, you've done the greatest thing in in in, 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 in football. What is this? Coaches have done for, have been sacked for far less, far less, far less disastrous campaign, but they were sacked. Why is this guy? Why should this guy be there? I don't understand. The coach there, they will not sack him. After all these things I've said, no. The Ghana Football Association meet, you know, there is nothing that shows that they will sack the coach because after this this time, pa, I've been waiting to hear news from them that, that they've, they've not sacked anybody. So the coach still there. He's still there. And uh, this coach, Ibrahim Tanko, is also saying some one or two things about Coach Utuado. Of course, he will support him. The coach is there. If you hear any coach like in Kingston, Ibrahim Tanko, those, if you hear them speaking, know that they will support Utuado. And I, if, if you are a true Ghanaian, you should not support mediocrity. That is what Kim Grant is saying. The person is not good, though, but you are supporting because he's a Ghanaian too. You play with him with Dortmund, whatever, whatever. So you have to support him. He just signed a three-year contract. If you sack him, you will have to pay. Plus, there is no guarantee that the next coach will make an immediate impact. Now, when we were sacking, uh, you know, everyone said, Chris Uti, did we? There, was there a guarantee? What guarantee? Did we have that Otuado was going to make an immediate impact? But didn't we start Chris <laughs> uh, Okay. And then um, his return was always going to come with pressure. Uh, I don't believe we should sack him instead. We need to give him a chance. With the World Cup qualifiers coming up, should we really be bringing in a new coach? Yes, we should. Senior man, yes, we should. I don't believe the job is too big for him. He came in at a very challenging time. Remember, he took us to the World Cup in Qatar. Through, though the performance wasn't as expected, and then he was replaced by Chris Hutton, who was the technical director. This is what I don't get to. That he took us to the World Cup. Is that, is so what? I don't know what the World Cup Yeah, I didn't go for Ah, Ghana, that was our first World Cup award. It's the coach not here called first World Cup in 2006. No, on the ground, you have nothing to say. Hey, Ghana. I said, we are funny. I said, we are funny. Oh, we are not serious. Like, I don't understand. I don't understand. We went to fill at the AFCON with Egypt, Algeria. These nations sacked their coaches, brought in competent coaches. Algeria, every knee, a lot of their games, they qualified with two games to spare. Egypt also qualified for the AFCON with two games to spare. Egypt brought in Hossam Ara. He is doing very well. Only us, because we brought in a very substandard coach. Everybody is asking for time. Now, if the person is not doing well, what are you giving him time to do? Time to what? Well, Thank you very much for staying with us and joining us once again. And you met my boy, my aunt, yeah, yeah. Then you met my aunt, yeah, yeah, my family, yeah. So, Muntia, I almost am, I'm with you, I almost am. Oh, my, no, baby, you could be a very fine. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. Definitely, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.